Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be Captain Helian today, along with... <laughs> uh, test one, two. Here, at your service, we just grubby the damn sausages. <laughs> uh, every time I laugh, now I just start coughing, but... Yeah, and welcome back to Return to Monkey Island, which this should be our second stream of this. And yeah, due to being, being sick, it has been quite some time since we've been able to stream, or stream regularly at least. And hello there, Cookie. <laughs> yeah, someone's early. Cookie, and oh, blood, I have my water. <laughs> uh, you go get that, then we'll just load in. Let's see. Last time we, of course, started with the game, and we learned that Guybrush is now Dadbrush. <laughs> Do you remember where we were? Oh, okay, hello. It's This is a nice feature that'll recap things a bit. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I had come to Melee Island to start an expedition to find the secret of Monkey Island, but the obnoxious new pirate leaders there wouldn't back me. It looked like I might have to steal a ship instead of hiring one. Now, back to the story. Now, Guybrush is a dad. <laughs> the left one there. And Carla made governor, apparently, in the meantime. Holy crap. No, not me. Him uh, here. See, I really like it. This is around where I... This is how far I got from watching one YouTube video. This okay. for me is probably unknown for me. Pet the stuffed animal? I like your stuffed... I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who was a contemptible pig. <laughs> take away the stuffed animal. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of work being governor. Hmm. Is there anything where we can talk to you about it? Of course, they go back to sword fighting. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. <laughs> I, I like that they... <laughs> we missed most of what happened in Escape from Monkey Island, but I do like seeing that uh, <laughs> Carla went from hating Guybrush to being back on good terms with him. Yeah. Uh, if you were to do remakes like I have done, they definitely need to remake the others as well. Let's see, take the back way into the... Uh, um, not, I'm not really s sick, I'm still... I still got the cough, but it is lessening more and more each time. Same, like, I no longer have fever. The sniveling is almost nothing. Like, I, mean, I do it sometime, but... I'm not wasting as much paper anymore as I did before. <laughs> Uh, no, um, the, the cough can linger after. Yeah, <clears throat> there's been less phlegm flying out. Of course, the head is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. <laughs> okay, this is the forest where we you could get lost quite a bit in the original game, I'm sure. So let's just get lost. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, is that a it's... fruit bat? Uh, actually, I just realized. We. We are in Caribbean. Yeah. Hey. Do you say something wrong here? Uh, which then? The, the, the type of tree? It's supposed yeah. to be more in the colder areas? Yeah, like, I don't think there are pine trees in the Caribbean. Hmm, maybe on some mountains or such. It's... Oh, I, used to love these I don't really think they have that tall mountains. No, I might be wrong. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Guy Price. What? It's Museum of Pirate Lore. Why do I get the feeling that Meat Hook is going to be in here? Yeah, you don't see him in a while. We, we didn't see him at but all time, in right Escape from Monkey Island. Now, you could get into his place, but yeah, he wouldn't actually do much. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> We're probably going to need something from here. But 
for now, let's just get out and see what else we can find. There's the high streets, there's the lookout point, and there's the shipyard. But well, luckily we know that Stan isn't there because he's in freaking jail. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. <laughs> it even fell off. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. Also the only place you could buy used ships here. What is this? Yeah. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. <laughs> Not surprised at all. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I think that's supposed to be a joke at something from the previous game, but I don't remember. Hilia, yeah. like he wanted you to grab his toothbrush. Right ah, yeah. What's that? I'm just... Right up, I'm surprised I remember that. And let's see, how do we get in there? We don't exactly have something to... Well, squeeze in. We, we can squeeze the sponge and the stuffed animal, apparently. It's good for relieving stress. It's soft and extra fuzzy. Uh, let's leave the hint book be for now until we actually run out of stuff. I've got enough to last me. Let's see. Find the secrets, get, get or find the ship. It's, I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. I didn't actually mean. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to click that. I just wanted to move around some. Uh, yeah, let's just leave then. Is there anywhere else we can go? Just to look out. There's the little island on the side there that we can't go directly to at least. Uh, the docks, Lechok's ship. We haven't been there, so let's... Well, probably get our ass kicked. Let's see... How far can we go until something goes bad? <laughs> Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under Lechuk, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Isn't, Wait, it supposed what? To be, isn't it supposed to be seven? Step this way. The clipboard yeah. says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. <laughs> you look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Wait, what? <coughs> oh. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. <laughs> the only requirement is that you bring your own mop. You've got a mop. Job is. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Uh oh. Um, so <laughs> I get the feeling if we say we're guy brushed, he's not going to believe us. Gee. Well, we're just going to get kicked out. <laughs> oh no, and oh, I see. I was not see. I think he has more than just ghost pirates on his side now. Yeah, we can see zombies. I think I saw a demon or two running around up there. And. Yeah. Yeah, as for advice on tons of homework, Cookie, I'd say, uh, yeah, just work on it, but do take breaks in between, like, uh, work for 45 minutes, then take 15 minutes break, then another 45 minutes uh, work, and so on and on. Yeah, I would say, like, <clears throat> you have several pages to read, like, read them, and when you run them, read in the specific pages, then take a proper break, then after the break you can read them again. Just don't read same pages over and over without break for that will not stick that will just end up flying through the other ear as yeah. you end up some kind of autopilot Guybrush 3 point. yeah that's what i thought lechuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it in fact you are the blacklist <laughs> i'm afraid i can't hire you after all well that's a slight hitch i'm confused 
Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're going to need a disguise. Yeah, I have to say, even though I spin a... I mean, of unusual all the time, which I kind of like this spectral skeleton, like you say yourself. She have bones, but she have... Um, ghostly how would flare. You call yeah, 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 ghostly flesh? Flare something there? And she still lo looks like she can kick your ass. Probably. I hope this probably isn't one of those party cruises. Probably snap you in two. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Yeah, then again, I'm pretty sure the average crab could <laughs> snap Guybrush in half. Let's see, what's this? No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, three to four. Really? Come on. Okay, so there is nothing we can do here at the moment. Not without a disguise or something. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Okay, sounds like the lunch gym is over. And yeah, the reason why homework is so unmotivated is because, well, you're working at home. <laughs> you don't want to. Going out of business? This place is an institution. Let's see, everyone should be back now, I presume. What's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. <laughs> Anything more we can talk to you about? Uh, wait, wait, you're Feast of... You're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business <laughs> sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. TikTok? There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Madison is playing with, uh, <laughs> with LeChuck. Hello, Sensei Tadpole. Did I just get pooped on my snoot? Part of the cough. I'm probably going to be stuck with that for another week or two or something. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. <laughs> well, she has always had a yeah, 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 a flair for the theatrical. Yeah. Can I stop that word? Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. <laughs> what? Maybe that's the first time you heard her say that. I think so, yeah. Why the heck does he speak hmm. like he heard it before? Okay. Well, he could have had many adventures between this and the other games. Uh, okay. You should try at least make some of it, Cookie, because uh, to make sure that you understand the subject matter and such. I don't suppose you sell mops. <laughs> I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scumba. Okay, so that's one lead. Hmm. <laughs> Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Karina. Nice. I didn't expect it. Was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. <laughs> I didn't actually expect her to tell us her name. No, did I? <laughs> no, not so casually. <laughs> the, but, I, I, I think that's important. It, it was planned. I, oh, blood had the comedy. It is like I feel like they intensely made it. It was just so simple, for they knew they would caught, catch people so off guard. Yeah, <laughs> the anti climax <laughs> is the joke. Tell me how Elaine is right now. She is always close, no matter the distance. <laughs> Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. <laughs> are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned as always but his intentions are darker he would use the secret to do terrible things dark er what's that supposed to mean the chuck must not acquire the secret no argument there i hope the secret doesn't end up being such an anti-climax as well can dark magic get me to monkey island no nuts Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. <laughs> okay, we're done here then. Let's see. Beats? Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. Give to... It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. <laughs> it says everything <clears throat> must go. But it says it with numbers. Too bad it's empty. Keep up the good work, buddy. It, hello. It's an unusual <laughs> safe with five keyholes. Alas, the <laughs> safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Okay, so that's someone else's uh, safe. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> What? Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. And shipped. Oh, I'd like this knife. There's an excellent choice. Gold. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with threads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, what? keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts uh. no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. That was a lot. Is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Um, <laughs> Since when are you a freaking lawyer? I just realized she said it was, may not be used by pirates. Yeah, so we're already in violation. Yeah, but also she said it's not allowed to cut 
bread due to its shop. It could even be in a siege. But where the heck are you supposed to store it? Merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. <laughs> But one thing seemed more instant there was jailbreak, so I think we might be able to. <clears throat> we might be able to, yeah, open up a lock with that. Does your model move when you move? Yeah, it should about be when it's well when I'm within the range of the camera that is tracking my movement. That is. What's this thing? It so means he's the only one that can dance. No apology will do. Give the forgiveness, frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. Uh, I've heard that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. <laughs> what? So, like Bethesda games, it just works, but it doesn't. The... Okay, let's check in with Wally. Uh, wait. Cookie, hey, are you only now notice he moves well, around? Well, well, look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. So he's not too happy with us. <laughs> What with his neck? Um, long. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm looking for a map through the forest. What are you trying to find in the forest? I don't know. Nothing in particular. Then having a map won't really be any different than wandering around lost, will it? Yeah, but I mean, well, never mind. <laughs> he does have a point there. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Uh, I think cartography is a <laughs> even more ancient art than voodoo, so uh, <laughs> you're not really... <laughs> yeah. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> what? <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. <laughs> as in not. I, I think it's a I think this might be the same voice actor as the original Wally. It's just that yeah, some yeah, some age is crapped in there. Let's see, should I heard Jen what Jen is the new Jen from what? Okay. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Easy guess who has that map. Well, I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. All right. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartography. <laughs> That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Let's see. I appreciate that Wally hasn't <laughs> traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I bought some monocles. Really? They're like glasses, only way less convenient. <laughs> well, at least he won't. 
<laughs> he looks very... He looks very stretched out. Well, he has been left to hang by his arms quite a bit. <laughs> I'm worried. Yoink. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, he is wised up to guy brushes shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are doing. <coughs> we are doing well. Just recovering. Yeah. Which it sounds like you should probably <coughs> be doing as well. It's... Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, of course. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? <laughs> that idol looks like a pair of trousers. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. <laughs> Tall map. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. Okay, don't get that one. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says rating Cursed Black Diamond. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Black Diamond is a term in uh, skiing or something, or at least Black is. Like, Black is supposed to be the most difficult kind of slope to go down with skiing or dangerous. And the Lowdown Noon. No. A good the fox. First rule of piracy is never buy a used treasure map. <laughs> yeah, be, <laughs> if a map is sec if a treasure map is second hand, that means that someone's already found a treasure. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Uh, of course. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Maze good old map. mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. <laughs> I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. <laughs> you do know the sea monsters on the maps aren't there, are they just for show, right, Grybrush? Uh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> okay. We'll probably latest, be back here later. Latest contest. <laughs> that, that, that probably will be North and South America. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Uh, that's the flyer that Elaine put up about. Uh, oh. Hello. <coughs> Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Ooh, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lechuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Uh, yeah, that, that is something that I heard of. Uh, sadly, the original voice actor for the Chuck uh, passed away before uh, this game was made. So, yeah, they had to get a new voice actor. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's understandable. And also... 
What, Noon? <laughs> also, we have... Hey, kid. Uh, easy with Noon roots. Yeah. You look like you're having a what good the time. Heck? That's nice. Let's see here. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Okay. And just in case the ever so slightest chance we need to break Stan out. The only real prison? Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. <laughs> okay, so we can't even help him if we wanted to. Good. Wait, we have to do the other guy. Yeah, we can break Otis out. Hi there. Hiya. Uh, let's see, can we give you this? Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure, good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Ooh, wow, <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, that was simple enough. Now just don't drop it, hey, guy, Bruce. Hey, kid. Okay, one key to go. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straits. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. <laughs> oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. <laughs> He's never getting out of there. <laughs> okay. That's Otis freed. So we have someone for a well, for crew. Let's see. Join lip. So we are going to sneak on board. Uh, for them, when I recognize me and won't hire, get a mop. Seize Chetlachuk's ship at the earliest opportunity. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Find the secret of Monk and then relive the glory days, really? Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Okay. Can we... I was thinking we could gut this stuffed animal with it to what? try and make a wig or something or a fake mustache. You and... crazy... <laughs> what? It's not that... This is a familiar seems place. To be stuck closed. Is that a... Lung parrot? Uh, I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. You skipped school a lot, <laughs> didn't you, Guybrush? Then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Stan. Uh, there's nothing else here for us to interact with, it seems. Uh, actually, can we look at the lock here? Look for a clue, really. I don't see anything useful here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, do you have anything to say? All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. She supposedly has to, some in yeah, some useful stuff to say here and there. <laughs> no one ever works together. All want their own prize. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. You can find a golden key, but you cannot own it. Okay. What? A lock is a beautiful thing. A key, even more so. Now, so am I the only one getting that sound only in the right ear? Which so? The bird? No, the... <laughs> what, uh... Whitey Bones was saying. <laughs> I like, got it from for both mine. Okay. I think. I didn't pay too much attention. Oh, hello. Was in. What the? Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> really? Wait. Is it? Oh, it's him. Yeah, it's the loom guy. <laughs> It's your relative! Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. 
all their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. I honestly would Here. not be surprised to a certain degree. The same. Tell me about Loom. Oh dear. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man <laughs> at this point. Uh, <laughs> he's going to hate us for this. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. No. <laughs> nice talking to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He probably will say it if we bother him enough for it. It's those three Surprise! Back table. He had more dialogue than in the first game, beside Loom. Or was he just saying, I? Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. Was I was Elaine. She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you were about to say something? Uh, um, not really. I was surprised that he also have a new voice actor. Let's see. She's good. No pieces missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says anyway. <laughs> well, Come on. tell her I say hello. It's... You know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? <laughs> Many. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I think he's been locked in his kitchen for a bit too long. Yeah. How the do heck? I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Also, why don't we could just try and steal his mop when he's not looking. <laughs> what kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. I think we can stick just about anything we want on it. <laughs> Probably the stuffed toy or the sponge or both. <laughs> oh dear. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. <laughs> the boy brush getting fed up with dad brush. Also, you... Active little guys, aren't they? 
Brute, protein. <laughs> so Tishlesy abscond with the mop, really? Well, it's definitely a mop. Yeah, he's not going to look away from that. There's maggots among the salad as well. It's amazing what you can achieve Lovely. if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. Uh, of course. He <laughs> even put them on the... He <laughs> put on more than they could fit on it. Uh, let's see. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. <laughs> let's see. Oop. String. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. And probably failed. Okay. Probably going to need that to tie whatever the mop hat is going to be to the stick. And let's just ignore those assholes. Wait, what do you say there? Hmm? And let's just ignore those assholes. No, no, it's something about... I'm gonna trust you said something about a mop. I thought you said mop, man. <laughs> the, the string will probably need to tie the mop head to the stick. Okay, yes, then I misheard you. <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was a whole <laughs> way. Why does Muffman have to do it? I must have misheard this. So let's let's see if Wally has a map <laughs> to this mop handle tree. Hey Wally. I was going to <clears throat> I was going to try and just roam around for a bit, but yeah, it, there's probably a map that we need from Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a <laughs> stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. <laughs> Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Okay, so we need to get... We need to get the bits from the... His mop. Hmm. How are we going to do that then? We can't run off with it. Hill, you got a short knife. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a fancy table. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I, I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. <laughs> you come on. But he was uh, there earlier. Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to kill us for it. Stay away from my mop. Okay, we probably need to distract him with the oh, customer. You look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it i don't have the slightest idea what to make okay be well cookie uh, be well cookie <laughs> and also i mean this is a case of every cook hates to have as a customer yeah also this is in monkey island just yet uh, noon let's see uh... Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. Okay, so we need to Tell go ask Carla then. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, that might work, hopefully. Yep, okay. <laughs> Up the streets to the mansion. Let's see, I'm, I'm happy my body feels 80 because two days ago it became dust in an urn. It, you, you go rest, oh. you're sick still. 
And yeah, yeah because of that, you should probably lessen up with the homework a bit. Uh, if you are sick, then yeah, they would definitely <coughs> be more understanding of it being less made. Uh, Carla just... Guybrush just draws it and she just has a complete flourish with drawing it. Well, I've come for a recipe. A dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? Barbie LeFlay catered that event. I own her cookbook, but I don't know any of the recipes. Okay. Do you know where I can find Barbie LeFlay? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean? She's halfway back to France by now. Okay. Wait, hold up. LeFlay. Yeah, it could be related to a different LeFlay that we know. I should let uh -oh. you to governing. Yes, you should. Okay, she did say she has the cookbook, though. Let's see. Ship the ship. Uh, in <laughs> ingredients by Barbie LeFlay. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? Yep. You got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Okay. Uh, do we have enough to... I've got a few coins for incidentals. Yep, I, that doesn't sound like enough. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's see. I don't feel like making homework at all, uh, though in my college, uh, if I get kicked off, I'll have lots of problems, but I'll try something. Uh, yeah, but health... Mm -hmm. Health should still come first. Uh, but do try to get some work done, at least. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Hmm. <coughs> what can we do in exchange? We don't have enough money for it. Let's see. What I want to yep, make a mop, find mop handle tree. Hmm. Okay, I don't actually know what to do next then. She laid a cookie. Oh, be safe, cookie. And rest well. Remind me what you said about the recipe I asked for. I said I didn't make the food, but I've got the cookbook. Yeah, yeah. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. I wonder if every single like, <laughs> if she if every single conversation she's held she held the holds is at sword point. <laughs> Let's take a look at the hint book. Let's see. You need to get Carla to forgive you before she yeah, let you borrow a book. Okay. But how do we do that? Words alone? Not... Hmm. Do we need to pay her or something? Can I pay you for the book I lost? I don't need your money. Hmm. This probably won't Stay work. Out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Don't be a creep, Woods. Threepwoods. Oh come on! Told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. Wait, what? I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. <laughs> okay. Killian's crunchies. Uh, yeah, we can't use that. I was thinking maybe we sacrifice the stuffed animal for her. That's hopeless. <laughs> hmm. This is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. You might not want to say that in the presence of Carla. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, hmm. Something a little magical would be the foolproof solution that even you... Oh. The forgiveness frog. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you skipped Jeez. over some text there, but still led us to the point we need. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. Well, it should work, but still, it's not exactly the first thing that comes to mind with Carla. <laughs> uh, true. <clears throat> but then it, it, it is the point to basically just roam around a bunch and try to, well, try just about anything before you can find some solutions. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. <laughs> Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Okay, surprised we could even afford that. I've got a few coins for incidentals. <coughs> hey, uh, oh, I just remember something about the name Carla. Yeah. It's, I think it's a Latinized version of Carl. <laughs> and Carl, me. Carl means man. <laughs> so basically, they basically just named, basically, in a way, just calling her tomboy. Lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Yeah, I, I guess the fact that we, we could buy it should have been a hint that it'd be useful. Here. <laughs> You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable <laughs> urge to forgive. You'd better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? <laughs> no, I'll keep it with me always. Okay, so it is, it is freaking magical. Okay, Can let's I get this thing. This cookbook? I could have just said yes. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Definitely won't. <laughs> Let's okay. hope it does this time. But it would be a change of pace. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Uh... Okay, so we can just outright read this thing. I think you bring to eat to the cook. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, then we'll probably have to tell the cook to, well, return it for us. Okay, just rushing through a bit. Zoom. 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 <laughs> All right. One uh, cookbook, I one cook. At the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. <laughs> I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Heck, that also works. Just wait for him to look away. There we go. And now let's get out before he notices and kills us and serves us as dinner. Mm. Okay, well, you, we've got your wood. Okay. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? <laughs> <coughs> sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Not even payments. Okay. Okay. Let's get out then. Easiest way to get to the island interior is over this way next to the mansion. Because I misread that. I, it's the island's interior, not the mansion's interior. Okay. Let's have ourselves a look then. Um, okay. I saw something in the woods. Oh, it was just a stag's eyes. <laughs> Let's see then. 
<clears throat> okay. Right, 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 up, left, up. Okay. Right, 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 up, left, up. Once, twice, thrice, up. Oop. Okay, that was big. Left and up. And there it is. Okay. What the? I guess we found the uh, Disney princess tree. Like really? That... Do you mean the mop tree? Well, it has all the, these animals around it like a freaking Disney princess. Find your mama, little prickly kids. Hey, little fella. Right. Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Okay, now we just need to, well, get one of these branches off of it. Yeah. Did, did they? What was that they called one of the squirrels over there? Yeah, frisky. Um. Yep, guy brush. What the? Guy brush. How did he? <laughs> How Wait, did you what? even manage all of this, guy brush? All you needed was one freaking limb of it. Uh one branch. The fucking squirrel's on fire over there. <laughs> and that's a world squirrel in tears. <laughs> Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. Guy Brush. Guy Brush? <laughs> really? Yeah. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. <laughs> you need one branch. Not Oh, bloody heck. Did you literally go through every single one of them to look for one good, <laughs> the one you like most or something? Yeah, uh, wait, hold on. What happened to the other trees? Guy brush happened. Hey, you here. The I'll take uh, a shortcut back. Yeah, <laughs> if shortcuts, yeah, right. <laughs> He got lost again. Okay, then. Uh, we've got guards. the mop handle. Let's see, can we combine that? I made him up. And uh, do a sax again. I, I feel like if I saw Galbrush do that just for one handle, I would punish him. Yeah. And, yeah I'm, I'm, pretty sh <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could have stuck the stuffed animal on it as well. Oh, well. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. It's probably going overboard in the very next chapter. Uh, someone wrote something in the chat? Yeah, your monkey. Yeah, who, who said it though? Uh, noon. Also, this place should be open now. Hi there. Oh. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Okay, for a moment I thought, what the hell is written on your shirt? But it's Melee, but it was in reverse because he was looking the other way. Uh, do you see a problem over there? Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a fire hazard. <laughs> yeah. You got on the wall. Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me. It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it. But it was touching. 
Thanks a lot. Uh, also, how did you get your hands on that guard parrot? Okay, for a moment I thought it was stuffed. That is a really big parrot. I wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. <laughs> you were seeing? What's the story with the wanted poster. That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsule. Hey. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. <laughs> Yeah, that's the wanted poster we sabotaged. <laughs> uh, if we ever run into Kate, we are so dead. Yeah. She actually has a reference in... Uh, she actually gets reference in Sea of Thieves on a specific island. I forget which one, though. But uh, yeah, she's out for blood on, <laughs> on Guybrush here. Okay, and uh, what the heck? What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. Okay, we probably need that. Wait, wait. What's this melted lump of metal? Oh. It used to be a mug. <laughs> it was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the melee jail many years ago, after an incident where, like, 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug Spoiler alert. melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. <laughs> substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. <laughs> I deal in facts. The joke being that really the, the, the peg leg is fake. Oh, for love of. <laughs> and also, let's take a look at the eye patch there. Look at the size of it. Yeah, it's quite big. <laughs> How big is this, John? Uh, very probably. It, oh, it, that that's the map for a uh, big whoop. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Wally, what lies have been you peddling? Have you been peddling? I don't think I need to say much more on this. How on oh earth do you have that note? Oh yeah, that's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate the Chuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. Well, you kind of have been a dick and a jerk throughout your adventures, Guyver, so it, I'm not surprised at all that people don't mention you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sad with other people more and more considering what you did to the tree. It's locked. Yeah, of course. I very much doubt we can use the monocle to look at the lock. There's tiny writing. New serial <laughs> numberless lock. Okay, smart guy. Yeah, uh, to, to, to be clear, 
one of my many pet peeves is when people are wasteful with natural resources. Let's see. Black. I patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. Okay. Uh, Talked about him earlier. That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Okay, so he moved on. Right, and he was a bit dexterous. Okay. Oh, he, he did uh, have hooks on both hands. Yeah, this probably meant you need to improvise a lot. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass mm. in it in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. Yeah. Uh. Probably put the blade the wrong side up, huh? Dear God. That's a nice oar. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I yeah. Do. Unpaid, of course. Intern. And of course, the work is going to suck. Then <laughs> that's the coffin that we used to go well to reach the voodoo lady in the second game. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, what the heck? What the heck is that? Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the oh, Golden dear. Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Oh, okay. hello, Rom. Hello, Rom. <laughs> yeah, hello. What's up? How's the new year got treated you this far? Uh, decently. Uh, this is a war, still recovering. Uh, what about see. you? Sleepy. And for some reason at work. Things are a little clearer, but yeah. still too tiny to Wait, reach. what? Eh, I gotta... Now they send me a thing I gotta do for today and the usual. So that's the usual. Okay. Hmm. We'll need to distract a parrot, probably. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Actually, let's. You, can't you give it a cracker? The display case is locked. <coughs> okay. So we need. We need to read out the numbers of this. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to need another monocle then. Or something. A poke the plank. Really? What? Poke the plank again. <laughs> Let's see. I see you wear a peg leg. Right, <laughs> so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. <laughs> Touche indeed, yeah. I mean, yeah, fair point. Yeah. The museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old timey pirate stuff. Old timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I uh, am yeah, part of something. Exactly. I'm Guybrush Threefoot. No kidding? Wow. Are you named after Guybrush Threefoot? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. Okay, so he does know of us, but he just doesn't believe we are Guybrush. <laughs> to be I'm fair, when is this? The secret of Monkey Island. True. Oh, that's excellent. Super retro. If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Yeah. What? Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. How did you even know what it was well, was then? Around. Please do. I bet you 50 bucks they actually get it's actually worthless, but they got like a thousand bucks out of him. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised at all. 
Okay, so oh, we need to dear. get that done. Yeah, we're going to need us that eye patch. Hmm. Oh, but how oh, can yeah, we magnify that makes it even more? Sense. I didn't even think of that for once. <clears throat> oh dear. And also, how would we get a security parrot on our Minecraft map? Um, I think you can find. Actually, I don't know where you can find parrots in Minecraft. Jungles. You want them? Yeah. Okay. Wait, hmm. wait, are you offering uh, ROM? Not really, I don't have Minecraft. Oh dear. Um, hmm. See anything more from you, YD? If you listen close, you can hear the gears grinding. Uh, yeah, that's Helios brain. <laughs> yeah, we need we need some way to magnify even further. We Get an Esper machine from Blade Runner. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work here. I've always been impressed by. Long your story <laughs> short, uh, there's a machine in the movie Blade Runner that if you fit it, that if you put a picture on it, it can just pull impossible angles and do incredibly good resolution and shit that it should be capable of. <laughs> okay. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises, but alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now, but I believe I could restore its abilities. Okay, another hint towards oh. it. Okay. Not very practical. Hmm. Yeah, how are we going to magnify that further, though? Do we need to steal another monocle? Or something better, monocle? Yep, take another monocle. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Okay, yep. Is it really going to be that easy? If one monocle is good, two is better. It is that easy. <laughs> okay. What uh, the heck? Well, it's better than having to steal someone else's glasses to try and magnif make a yeah, magnifying glass. So it's really use... What up? Just double monocle. Of course. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. And then right, we need to go to the mark. locksmith. Why do we need to go to the locksmith? Yeah, because they'll make you know, they'll make keys based on <laughs> serial numbers. No questions asked. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Okay, serial number. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Okay. Yeah, I collect stamps. That's a parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. <laughs> I think we... I think it's going to be a joke that the parrots are vicious for some reason. It, I think this is a reference back to uh, Beat Hook. But apparently oh, the parrot yeah. bit off his hands. <laughs> yeah, he was scared of them. For some reason, but probably a good reason then. Okay. Uh, well, he's distracted. Oh, this one. No, not that. Come on, guy, brush. Yoink. And GTFO. Oh. Carla. Yep. What Who the do fuck? you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. P 
people around here like don't like third of the any plot kind here. of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? I don't know where the hell that queen came from, but okay. But yeah, uh, Elaine, hey. it, Elaine is around to uh, try and... Well, there's a flyer on the wall here, so let's just read it it's out. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Yeah, she, she's on the island combating scurvy in the area. And yeah, we need to get on LeChuck's ship using a disguise because, well... <laughs> he is <laughs> they're hiring but uh, there's exactly one person on the blacklist for jobs and you can easily guess who that is and they actually have a picture so they will know what Guybrush looks like oh dear can you fix this oh now it's small ah the famous <laughs> eye patch disguise of John Laney As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. You knew that just by shaking it and rattling it a bit. To be fair, she also apparently she knows voodoo magic, so who fucking knows? Come, spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about, John Laney. This hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity <laughs> on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. Even the people who like Guybrush don't like Guybrush. They like him enough to not punch him immediately. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first. Before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong <laughs> part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Congratulations, yeah, you cannot turn yourself into a zombie. I'm ready to set sail. Yeah. And also, Rom, I'm also gonna punch Guybrush for what he did earlier. Yeah, he he basically murdered a tree for trying to get a single branch off of it. Actually, I'll, I'll show you what uh, yeah. the aftermath was. He wants to get one branch, but he killed the entire tree and the trees around it. With one knife. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. Can we even... Can we even go back there? Let's see. It was three rides up, left, up. <clears throat> and the one... Oh, oh, he automatically goes there. I think. Many hours later. Yep. What uh, the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. And he saw us start the fire as well. How? Yeah, I wonder Guybrush. why. But I hate him for it. Says I. I think nature has good resources, but we should be careful, respectful about it, and uh, not like this. This is this, this <laughs> complete waste of natural resources. Complete disrespect to the tree. Yeah, and he did all of that with a bloody knife. How did he set it on fire, though? I Good question. Well. <laughs> but I still will have punch him. He, he would have needed to break up one branch, but no, he killed the entire tree. Okay, let's put on the disguise. And we've got our mop, so yeah, we can get... <laughs> Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. 
Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's BYOM. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. Oh, here we go then. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Blobby spongy pad. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? <laughs> Does that have another benefits package? Get the benefit of not getting thrown overboard. Three on the Chuck's ship. Mm. He's got some kind of disguise. <laughs> From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate no? not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? You wow. sure about I've that? I've got a spy on board the ship. Okay, so they're up to something as well. Everyone's up to something shady. Speaking of shade. Uh, LeChuck could use some to hide that ugly mug. Oh. Hello. Part so two. we have... There are two hostile no factions. You, Chuck ship. you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one So the Christian rule. God, then? You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Uh, <laughs> What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Ew. <laughs> Run she? Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What I have about? to agree with I him. I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is... I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> Uh, at least it's not overboard. Say something here. What if I need to, oh. um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. So this voice actor sounds familiar, but I can't yeah. pinpoint what from what exactly. He's a veteran. That's for sure. And also, I had problems with chickens again in Vala today. I had to <laughs> chase one and escape the house. Well, at least your chickens aren't undead. True. Yeah, I, I looked for the damn bugger all night, but I realized, oh, I've got another egg. This time I'm gonna have a chicken. chicken. I went in. Oh, he has had an incident thread through the door. <laughs> Which you left anyway. open as you chased after the first one. <laughs> yeah, I, I could uh, in the, the other one at least. But I had to yeah. catch them through between a wall and a house. But I lost a little somehow. I thought. One of the mobs somehow glitched through a punch and killed it, but then in the morning, I did a bugger run up to me. I just put fences around the bugger, bit fence off the fence, or they got into the, to the shit, and I was just <laughs> ran the bugger in. Uh, Defcon one chicken defense. <laughs> yeah, about that. After I just got that bugger in, here's what happened. 
I got raided by ice drakes. Uh, you doing okay there, Ron? I want to sleep. I was going to say, I think I'm going to cut out for the night for, well, the morning actually in my end. So you guys, uh, good luck and have fun. Yeah, see you later you and be well. And sleep well, Rom, and thank you for joining. You're welcome. <laughs> and thanks for everything. Good night. See ya. Good night. All right. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruit. You're all thicker than the chickens. <laughs> hey, I. Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hole sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. <laughs> um, <sighs> wait, if he's supposed to be swap, is he supposed to be swapping the entire deck, not just here? Apparently, I we are. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Oh, pamphlets. It's an inspirational, instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Okay. <laughs> Avoid reading the pamphlet, of course. These are all the same. Just a bunch of rah-rah stuff about ship's company culture. Oop. Uh, let's see. Get on board a new crew member pamphlet. Copyright lit shock. All rights reserved. <laughs> I can't say if this picture is supposed to be flattering or fooling. <laughs> Oh dear. Get inspired, follow LeChuck's lead. Betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay your welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way. Condensed from the book the LeChuck way, really? He wrote a freaking book. I'm not surprised. Get to work, don't get fired. Le, uh, le ship is enchanted to be onboardable by anyone but her crew. That includes you. So don't worry about it unless you get fired. Then worry. Uh, what? No way am I picking that up with my hands. All right, let's get the cleaning. Uh, what? I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Looks like you missed a spot. Yep. Oh. Oi, you missed a spot. Come on. <laughs> you missed a spot. Is that your just... catchphrase or something? <laughs> He's just specifically hanging up out there just to pester us, huh? You missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Uh, hello again, Cookie. Oh, welcome back, Cookie. Uh, what the, the heck? Is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Hmm. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Really? What? <clears throat> Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. Uh. More chickens? <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? I'm in disguise. In that case, I would think you'd comprehend the value of staying hidden. The curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information oh. from the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. <laughs> Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we're eating my Tony Caramel Sea Salt Chocolate. Yeah, Tony Chocoloni, I believe it, that is. Uh, pretty good brand, though. I hear that the dark chocolate variant of it has a, a chance of having a lot of cadmium or some other heavy metal in them. Some study or something came out recently that showed that uh, some dark chocolate brands uh, are a bit hazardous if you eat too much of it, of course. Just a single bar every single no every now and then won't kill you. Just don't overdo it, of course. So much for all the wool... Uh, well, all the wool papers about how healthy dark chocolate is. 
Yeah. Incorrect doses. <laughs> mm. And uh, yeah, when you were sick, it 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 wouldn't really help when uh, yeah your throat is filled with phlegm to add a uh, yeah another slimy-ish substance to that. But it kind of helps with this uh, chili chocolate. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever tried chili chocolate. I, I, I mostly just stick to milk chocolate. I recommend uh, trying chili chocolate. I recommend it. And yeah, Murray oh. is from the other <laughs> half of the game yeah, franchise that... Uh, uh, yeah, Ron Gilbert was his name, I believe, was involved with. Yeah, as I kind of oddly enough can relate to Murray. <laughs> oh? Think about it, Hillian. Think about you. Ain't it obvious? <laughs> that you're stuck on that side of the screen out of biting range? Yeah, that too. Just... Yeah. <coughs> I will be small, but I can't have my way with words. Uh, I actually knew that Murray was around because, yeah, he... Uh, I've seen some... Rev Mm, I wouldn't call them reviews, but more impressions of the game. And yeah, he was also in the trailer, you know, or the announcement trailer, of course. So it yeah. was expected for him to be around. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be sad if it was only in the trailer, not in the game. Yeah, and well, there was that talk of, of an annoying skull as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is Madison up to then? How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Did she drag you out of the sea for at some point? Let's see. Wait a second. I didn't hear much. My Twitch on phone was dead. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, we were mo we were just talking about Murray for a bit. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Well, you are a poor spy already by admitting that you are a spy. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Okay, so he's not going to say... Hmm... I think I know a way of getting him to talk. Hey! Knock it off! <laughs> Wait, chicken grease? Uh, can we actually... Hmm, we need something to... Can we torture him with this? Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Yeah, he keeps giving That's us move for a reason. You're getting it in my eye. <laughs> You're getting it in my eye. Okay, willing to talk now? Come on, tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Okay. We can't pick him up, so we can't just chuck him out the window. it's made out of uh, oh okay a taste the ghost chicken she uh, chicken grease then she can feed uh, i don't think so hmm now we can't pick up the grease though you missed a spot oh, nuts Let's see, can we... We can just feed the chicken. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Hmm. What do we feed all three of them? <laughs> really, there's an egg in there? Okay. Wait, was that there before? <laughs> Not sure. Uh, let's do that. Then I still have Maltesers left and the 
M&M chocolate bar and a milker bar left. Okay, that's a bit... <laughs> okay, I like my chocolate, but that is a bit much on the chocolate. Especially when... Uh, yeah, that could get uh, caught in the in your throat with the phlegm and such. So maybe... Uh, <laughs> maybe a bit less at the moment. Yeah, I, I should say this. It says I have because of phlegm and had cheese chocolate. But cheese chocolate does help a little bit. It does make the flame look worse. <laughs> Let's see, can we use this with anything else than the chickens? No. Hmm. What the? Let's the, try this it, again. So it takes pop up to the chicken. Oh, nuts. Yep, S swap the ghost chicken that this is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it only said, is it edible? For yeah. some reason? Uh, uh, Yep. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Okay. <laughs> really, we can just swap everything. <laughs> swap the chicken feed. Okay. Not funny. <laughs> it is too awesome. <laughs> Super swabby, what? What the heck? Uh, let's see. Swap the whole 20 times. <laughs> All right. Oop. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. At least they don't smell like live chickens. Yeah, chickens tend to stink, but yeah. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Okay. Uh, let's try and get out. Uh, it's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Chicken uh, grease. Also, you're. It is. You missed a spot. <laughs> Nuts. It isn't that small of a hole, guy. Brush you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's say I got so much for my graduation party and birthday last year in July. Uh, exactly when I still wanted to lose weight. <laughs> so I was planning on eating so fast. Okay. The grease helps. A little. Oh, come on. The grease helps. A little. This is really a slightly to... greasy porthole. Are you to use Murphy? Does it need more grease? Like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oh yeah, we need we need to squeeze. <laughs> uh, still more. Almost. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Just how much freaking grease do you need, guy brush? I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. Uh, it's working. Uh, it's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. Okay, the, the boat's a bit bigger than I expected. <laughs> Let's have a look around here. Oh. Uh, you... <laughs> really a timer. Uh, you, you, uh, you're losing your touch, guy, bros. You, you were able, you, you were able to hold your breath for ten minutes before. Now it's only eight. That's Shame on you. Fun. Yeah, there are bonefish swimming around here. Let's see. There's nothing else to interact with. It seems. Hmm. We're, we're going to have to sabotage that thing somehow. I can't see anything. This one doesn't open. Okay. That's our chicken porthole. I can't see anything. Okay. That's some wild waves. Blah, 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 blah. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. 
The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. Oh, now we're playing as Bori Boris. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. Yeah, but passing the hell out. <laughs> What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone, and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I what? got it. The potion uh, is nearly is, finished, he, Captain. What did he mean All with that? All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent. You there, in the back, new guy. Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. <laughs> Do you ever go to Swabby conventions? Do you ever go to Swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. <laughs> Uh, Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Apple Bob? Okay. That's a name. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Uh, wait. Flat. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. We have a. Is that a living human or. Looks Finish like. The potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Fair. Find a regular skull and flatten it. Okay, so her name is Rose. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> uh, I read somewhere. That, uh, it's not sure if the developers meant this, but there are ghost zombies. There are ghosts on the in the crew. There are zombies on the crew. There are well, is a live human on this crew? I'm not sure. Guybrush counts as crew. And then we have uh, also demon <laughs> on the crew, Wait. which basically represents all of the states that uh, Lechuk have uh, has had during the franchise. Uh, you should check his name. The demons. It's, yeah, Blom Bale, the lookout, who isn't, well, looking out for much. Blom Bale. <laughs> Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. <laughs> Good point. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Oh, well, there I is a... that voice. I recognize there's another voice actor veteran. <laughs> uh, I, I rec. Hmm. I, I can tell there's experience in the voice, but I can't recall where from them. And yeah, there is something that we would want in the lookout, which is well, the pirate flag. Which, in the original game, we used the pirate flag for the flattened skull. Uh, anime? I feel like this guy has been in both anime, games, and horror cartoons. Likely. Like working for LeChuck. I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. <laughs> you live longer if you remember Wait. that, new guy. Wait, yeah, ain't, ain't that the voice actor of Puss in Boots? And it? Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. It's similar, oh. but no, it's it's the accent that makes yeah. it sound. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think you're right. It sounds so similar, though. But speaking of Puss in Boots, uh, his second uh, solo movie came out recently, apparently. And apparently also it is really, really liked. So I, I want to go good. see that in theaters. Yeah, I'm kind of confused, but I thought that was his third movie. Uh, it's his second. He also had a standalone series that I still need to finish as well, which is pretty oh. good. It starts off a bit rough, but it gets better as it goes. Like it has seven freaking seasons or something. It seven? went on long. Holy crap. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. Gotta go. <laughs> I've got a job to do. My condolences. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Ooh. Oh, your Apple Bob. <laughs> Borrow Apple Bob's skull. Nice looking skull you got there, Apple Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax. I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. <laughs> and it's Pinky again. I keep forgetting his bloody name. <sighs> okay, these can't be talked to separately. Uh, what's this? This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. How much bloody of the how much of the bloody stuff did they use? Well, as we can see here, a full cauldron. Let's see. Oop, LeChuck's up here and do not pet the ship's cat. What? The very yeah. first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. <laughs> okay. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, LeChuck shouting. I shouldn't... <laughs> now it's not a good time to attract attention. Yeah. What, what did the? he tell me to do again? Come on. I hope I saw the draw. What he just shoved his spyglass up his nostril. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to go up his eye, probably. Uh, Ready for cannon firing. Hell. Is that a good idea? That was fun. But it would be even better if the cannons loaded with something. Mm, Murray, uh -oh. can we borrow you for a moment? Oh no. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Let's see. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it Duh. starts to get mossy. Really, Guybrush? Get ghost rats? I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Probably. Let's see. We don't want to touch the map yet. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. All right, is it actually changing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> And they're changing it's exactly again. Exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. But how the how the hell did he get his hands on that? Also, I'm surprised he isn't trying to marry you know, Elaine yet at the moment, a, a, from a safe distance. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Uh, literally, it's reaching out. Oh dear. Oh, uh, this is Monkey Island. Uh, Return to Monkey Island, was it? Yeah, Return to Monkey Island. It's the latest in the Monkey Island series, which we've streamed uh, yeah, pretty much all the games from, I'm pretty sure. N not the original ones, but we've covered... Uh, uh, okay, the remakes. Just, uh, yeah, the remakes and such. Uh, we, we did uh, the original uh, remastered, uh, number two remastered, uh, Curse of Monkey Island we played. We tried to do... Escape from Monkey Island, but that game has some big game-breaking glitches, which made it impossible to continue on from some one point. And it isn't the best game, I'll definitely say. Okay. The eyes suddenly. Uh, but yeah, it was good for its time, which was the, the Zeros. 
Yeah. Mid 2000s. Hmm. <laughs> and after that, there was Tales of Monkey Island, and I don't think there was anything else. Yeah. No spin offs or such. Yeah, and um, the one we had to abandon was due to Genki Brain and Glitch for we Hila did try off screen to fix it, but it didn't work. And back in here. Okay. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Take Murray against his will. <laughs> that is one revoltingly greasy portal. Okay, out we go again. And, oh, do we, are we going to have to run Murray through the laundry press? <clears throat> we'll see uh, let's see. Yeah, I get where you could recognize his voice. He did a lot. He's a voice actor. Uh, what, what what are some of the characters that he voiced then? We might be able to recognize him from there. So are you literally just guarding the one, pl <laughs> the one place? How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. <laughs> uh, and Murray. What? Who is even freaking work? Apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will. <laughs> Guy rush, pull him out the other way. It'll work. I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. World of Warcraft, Nathanos Blightcaller. Can't say I recognize that. Evil Dead, Professor Nobi. Uh, which professor? Uh, which version of the Evil Dead? The original or something? The series? I've not seen the third season yet. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite punishments await you at your final resting place. <laughs> well, we've been there and it... Okay, Evil Dead the game. Okay, the, the new one. Sort of like um, the Friday the thir 13th uh, uh, game. Hmm. I've heard mixed things on that, though I haven't actually heard that much. Also, I hope you survived this, Murray. <laughs> hey, what are you? Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, come on, he's doing this on purpose. He's he's going to get thrown on. Yep, yep, yeah, Murray survives at least. <laughs> oh, I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. He this went fucking high. Now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. <laughs> Grim? Or what? Use a potion? Is that even possible? No. We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know a chap like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Without getting harassed hey. by the first swab. <laughs> also, welcome back, Murray. How's it going in there, Murray? 
I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Uh, it making the threats makes it sound just funny instead of threatening. Just like the times I threaten you. And... Uh, hmm, yeah, I... There is names still don't ring a bell for me. Sorry, Cookie. I'll, I'll look them. I'll look them up myself another time. Also, why the hell does the floorboards have eyes and that's the timer going off? Okay, that. What? <laughs> we still have five minutes. Hmm. Oh, I must. I must have started up the wrong timer then. Hmm. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Let's see. What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, <coughs> uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Mm -hmm. uh, she's already planning for something other. Like Iron Rose, okay. <laughs> also certainly a name. Also in God of War, though. Who's specifically there? Hey, Bob. Have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. Jin Piri. Hmm. Doesn't actually ring a bell for me, but what what is that there? I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Oh, it's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, nice no, is it? It's a screaming ghost. Oh, music change. Yeah, we we can actually move this. Oh, there's a bird. Hey, Flambe, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. Oh. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. <laughs> they undercut my three, I mean, three puds expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. I think I know how we're going to get the potion. A step in the back is cause for celebration. They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. What the hell is he reading? <laughs> yeah, yeah might as well. <laughs> okay, whatever was in that book, he got surprised by it. Uh, let's see. He played in Victorious 2. Okay, don't, I don't really know too many actors. Uh, yeah, same here. It, it is a... Voice acting is sadly a rather thankless job because generally the characters tend to be remembered more than the char uh, than the voice actors. Yeah, like sometimes you may end up learning about them, but then the other is some of them have been in so many things. Yeah, there, there are, of course, breakout voice actors who are known, like uh, the guy I keep forgetting his name of. <laughs> like, I know who he is and such, and some of the characters he voiced. Like, he voiced he voiced Timmy in Reality Giant Citizen Kabuto and Pinky, and uh, one of the Warner Brothers from the Animaniacs. But beyond that, I can't really name too many. And like I said, I keep forgetting his bloody name. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's old, actually. Uh <laughs> He, he actually did a little a music video with someone along with his partner who was Brain, and they are old. Yeah, they're both yeah, graying, that's for certain. Oh, they're white hair <laughs> now. Uh, do we know Victorious? Um, not entirely sure. Is that a game or a series? I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mobbing? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. 
They are not impressed. <laughs> no. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> Guy brush. Uh, you do, you lot do know that if you aren't getting to Monkey Island, that that Chuck is going to skin all of you, right? Yeah. <sighs> well, I, I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk <laughs> guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. enough <laughs> the matter Good before shot. the crew is the question of whether we should go to monkey island i vote nay nay nay, nay. nay. Uh, aye. the vote to go has to be unanimous it isn't meeting adjourned okay What's unanimous it means i had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote wow hmm how are we going to do that then, though? Let's see. Escape the hold, steal a Chuck's secret of Monkey Island map, get the unanimous vote. Okay. Hmm. So It'll we're be... going to probably have to lie and bribe and bunch. Yeah, or tell the shock. I mean, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you just could be telling the shock. Someone would convince them all. Oh, oh he, he pretend to steer the ship, really. Wait, what? Uh, did he put someone's soul in that steering wheel or something? I think you may have made someone fall over inside the ship. <laughs> uh, I don't think LeChuck is going to let us into his room to talk with him. I dare to enter LeChuck cabin. You, Swabby, come over here. To my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Swabby is fine. Any questions? None? Good. I like an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Yeah, he isn't right. going to want to talk, um... but. Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. <laughs> Wait, uh, what? Yeah, Guy Guybrush, well, technically has been keel hauled before, but more like he is going to be keel hauled in the future since this game takes about s somewhere in the middle of the s timeline. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the LeChuck is just <laughs> LeChuck mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's just a murderous, uh, undead, then on uh, not undead, then demonic, then undead again pirates. Uh, if you want to know more, you can watch the old uh, vods of the other games that we've streamed. Yeah, uh, wait, I wasn't sure if this actually takes, but is between <laughs> the other games. Okay, let's put down a save. And yeah, we've, we've reached our time limit now. So... Oh. Yeah, let's head on out and yeah, go look for someone to raid. Ooh, Come on, stream that. I have the bloody cannons. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Quit the game, put all of the icons back on screen, and fetch the browser. Okay, there we go. For once, not blinding Drakir by showing up on this wrong monitor. And let's see. Change window to the browser with Twitch. Let me double check. Okay, mute to the site. And let's see. For a moment, I read that as Slime Ranch, but no. Uh, the the Arxcast are streaming Ranch Simulator. Yeah, <laughs> since we streamed uh, Slime uh, Ranch, I got confused there for a second. Uh, oh, let's see. We have Kiri Natsuyoko, uh, who is streaming Doom 2 Hell on Earth again. Uh, let's see, what did that say? 
Uh, ta -ta, finishing up no SP3. Okay. Uh, still don't fully know what the deal is with them uh, not talking. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the Adventure Network is streaming Loom. And in the oh, title it says, on. ask me about Loom. Oh, come on! Uh, and then there's Paxical, who is streaming Disney Dreamlight... Uh, what was it called again? Disney Dreamlight Valley, okay. Then we have Mysterious Fox, who is streaming 40k... Chaos Gate plus Demon... Or no, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I almost read it as a plus. <clears throat> Plus DLC. Oh, we play there. Oh, they okay. have a detect marine and the dreadnought. <laughs> I think I know who you want to go right then soon. Uh, but just to check, we have well, a uh, I keep Wabella uh, Balam who is streaming BattleTech and Dommy Reaper. That's a new one who is streaming Yakuza like a dragon. And Super Sahama, who is streaming Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Hmm. Okay, I heard of that, but I don't know exactly what it is. Is it supposed to be like a remake? Now, the, is, the remake is still on their works or something. Is this supposed to be part two of that? I, yeah. No idea. I, I heard measure my Crisis Core. I just didn't know it was part of Final Fantasy, so I'm just more confused. Hmm. And maybe it's a crossover game or something. <clears throat> For now, uh, yeah, I'm guessing Mysterious Fox is the one you want uh, to uh, <laughs> you want to raid with Warhammer. Yeah, let's go with Mysterious Fox. Okay, copying their name, heading over to our place, and slash raid paste. Okay, but before we start that off, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Cookie, for chatting. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Cookie, for chatting along. Uh, I hope I do hope you get better soon. Uh, Noon, thank you as well, of course. And uh, Sensei Tadpole, you showed up as well, of course. Thank you. You didn't chat too much, but there's no requirement for chatting, of course. And yeah, of course, as always, as well. Thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And let's start that raid. And let's see. Next time when I'll be able to stream, uh, I might be able to do some more afternoon streams in the coming days since, well, I'll be having early shifts again. Um, yeah, two early shifts, I believe. Uh, not. Don't think I'll be able to do an evening shift on... It's today, it's... Tuesday? Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do an evening shift, uh, not, not an, evening, an evening stream on Thursday, since uh, one of the roleplay groups that I'm in wants to try again, uh, wants to try a session then. But after that, we should have a few days free where we can continue on again with this game, uh, Commandos 2 or Binary com uh, Domain, depending on if Ron is available or not. Nice. Oh, and ink just crawled out from underneath my bed. You were still freaking dead. Ambush. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombies. And uh, it, one of the cats was under the bed, Cookie. She was there when I woke up. <laughs> Apparently she was still there. Uh, again, see you all later. Be safe, everyone.